me in love. Me of a man, one me love girl. Me What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Gypsy the Pixie Met the Man Dem Tipsy period and as you guys can tell from the title today I'm gonna be doing you know a little life update because I know you guys have been having so many questions about my life and it's changed drastically like drastically but before we get into it make sure you like comment share and subscribe if you're new to my channel hit that bell so you can be notified every time I post a new video and you can see my beautiful face again shout out to IC here for sponsoring today's video so I'm gonna install this unit if you like it and you want to see how I achieved all of this look just keep on watching make sure you subscribe to my channel because we're on the road to 20k I need like 100k more because trust me if you feel like you love me now you're gonna want to see more of me later period okay so guys let's just get straight into the video okay guys so I know I look like an egg right now don't mind that I'm just looking in the viewfinder to see if everything is good but yeah so we are going to head right into the video your wig comes in a box like this and there's nothing special in the box it's just the wig okay and some wig caps that's all you get and you get a pair of lashes which every girl can use another pair of lashes your wig looks like this it is beautiful I like the little honey blonde it's giving me Beyonce and this is 26 inches now inside the wig it has four clips inside you have one clip right here one clip right here one in the middle and one in the back so I'm going to put this on my head right now and we can get to installing this lovely lovely unit the wig is on my head I am loving this already I'm going to wear this unit glueless so I have my little spray right here and I'm just gonna put it on the lace and tie down my hair so you know it can melt into the skin and then we can get to talking okay because I know you guys want an update on my life and I'm here to tell you so just let me do this real quick So while this is melting into my skin, I'm going to give you guys a little update so far. So first, we're going to talk about my love life, okay? Your girl, your girl, Gypsy me, we got a boo thing. We got a boo thing up in here and people, my love the boy. Me, in love. Me of a man, what my love girl. Me in love, people. People. Okay, so first let me tell you about him. Okay, he is older than me. Um, this is somebody who has been in my life for quite a while, and yeah, I know I posted a video saying that I'm not dating and I'm just waiting for the Lord to send me my man's. I think the Lord sent me my man's, okay, because he possesses all the qualities and characteristics that I look for in a guy. He's very thoughtful. Him just so sweet. He protects me. Like he cares about me a lot. You know, he's very mature. Him just cute. People just say I'm just chocolatey and I'm just nice and just too good. Just ew. people, I'm said a boy sweet. Like him sweet bad. We've been together for a while. Yeah, I know, and I know a lot of you guys are gonna be like, okay, what happened to Sing? Well, Singh and I were never in a relationship. I think I've said that so many times. We were never in a relationship. We were never boyfriend and girlfriend. Nothing. Like, no. You guys would actually love him. But because of my experience with, uh, you know, Singh as my boyfriend, I decided that I don't want to publicize my relationship. But I still want to make it known as if, like, yes, I do have somebody. So I don't know if y'all gonna see him. He's kind of very, very reserved. He's very chill, so you know, he balances me out because you know, sometimes I can be a bit yada yada yada, and he's just like, babe, relax. And I'm like, okay, baby, okay. He put him sweet. When I tell you, say him sweet, like, he is just so thoughtful. He's really kind, not just to me, but the people in his life as well. And I love that he's very family oriented, he knows what he wants, you know. 
he gonna marry me. He gonna... That's my husband, baby. That's not my boyfriend. That, that's my husband. Okay? Husband. Oh, yeah. So, I also wanted to say... This is probably dry already. This is probably dry already. I got a comment saying, basically, that I use Sing for views. And then, once I built my platform, I threw him away. That was never, ever, ever the case. I've never used anyone for clout. And on my channel, it's really about me. So, you know, you clicked on this video because of me. Just saying. You clicked on the video because of me. And because you love me and I love you I just want to say I'm grateful because many people know me from his platform and other people platforms such as Chad, Tash, um, Perry so you know if you found me that way thank you hi for sticking around but I feel like my pixies and my true supporters come here for me and I'm completely grateful for that so I just want to say like it was never a situation where I was using him for clout or anything like that I think we can take this off now I cut off the lace and then now I'm going to use my wax stick to define the part in my head. So let me do that. Guys, this hair looks so good, literally, and it's not even shedding that much. Oh my gosh, I love this hair. It's so soft. I am loving this so far, guys. Like, look at the shedding. Did I migrate? A lot of people have been asking me this question because I've been here for a while. I came here in the end of August and it's now basically the end of October. The answer to your question is no, I didn't migrate, but I'm going to be gone for a while. And you guys are probably wondering, okay, why did I decide to leave for so long? And it's just because my environment began to get toxic. I don't know if you guys remember in the weekly vlog, I was basically saying that I was just falling out with people. I didn't like the type of people who I was hanging around with, even though I'm still friends with some of them. Like my girls are always gonna be my girls, but needed a change in environment like I honestly I was way too tired to hear my friend them drama and my problems I just needed an escape because it began to affect me mentally and I was just like girl girl you need to Ooh, so pretty look how it holds the curls it's so gorgeous I'm trying to grow my platform and even though I love my Jamaicans of course I wanted to captivate a wider audience so naturally like when you post something on youtube it's gonna spread to the people who like you know your your geography so being here i've been captivating a lot more american viewers i make more money here basically and that's what i'm trying to say i do make more money here and i have better opportunities to get sponsors so i decided to look at it as like a business expense even though I spent too much money but it's just a different scenery I actually have stuff to do here you know and even though it might just be the mall but you guys are like me you guys like to see hauls because every time I post a haul it does really well so I just decided that okay I'm just gonna take this time to really focus on my YouTube and then you know I got my vaccine I did all of those things so how long am I gonna be gone for I don't know I think yeah, I can't tell you when. Honestly, I can't tell you next week. I can't tell you two months from now because I really don't know. But I'm just enjoying my life. Honestly, I'm just enjoying my life. I had plans for my birthday. So I was like, okay, like, I'm gonna go. Even right now, it's past my birthday because I'm filming this on Wednesday. And you guys are gonna get it for Sunday. The content coming up is gonna be really exciting. I have figured out I really like to vlog, guys. Like, I am such a good vlogger. You guys remember I had struggles vlogging because i was like okay what am i going to talk about but i found myself being more comfortable around the camera and just talking to you guys because you guys are like my best friends i just feel so safe talking to you guys so yeah girls mm. y'all oh look at mm. no watch ear dresser so a lot of you guys wanted to know about my mental health um, I'm doing pretty well honestly like I'm doing pretty 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 good I had decided to stop doing collabs 
and here is why so you guys know if you watch YouTube or if you're familiarized with other content creators Tasha and I did a video and the comments underneath that video was wild and then from then I found myself basically trying to seek validation from people I got so anxious being on other people's channels and that was really like the last straw for me I was like okay I'm gonna take a break from this because I would get panic attacks literally just going through the comments and it began to affect me mentally like people can be very very cruel but I found when I was doing my own videos on my own channel like my subscribers are very very sweet you guys are the sweetest I barely ever get hate so for somebody to be like commenting on somebody else's channel about me it really made me feel very worthless and I really found myself trying to be like okay I shouldn't say this I shouldn't say that I don't want anybody to say anything about me it was really bad I was getting pan panic attacks as I said anxiety your girl couldn't manage your girl couldn't manage and I understand like this is the life that I chose I chose to be a content creator so you know if you can't handle the heat stay out of the kitchen but girl girl it was or guy if you're watching hey um it was a bit much i'm not gonna lie it was a bit much so that's why i decided to stop doing collabs i also found myself extending myself to others way too much so meaning that even if i didn't want to film or if i didn't even want to do the video i would still say yeah because i just believe in treating people like how i want to be treated so i know that if it was like my video i would want people to come through so that's what i was doing majority of the time and it began to be very exhausting i was honestly spreading myself way too thin I don't know who I thought I was to just be like collab after collab after collab after collab. Like, I was tired. Your girl was tired. And to be quite honest, it's like I wasn't really seeing the benefits. I was just really doing it for like my friends. And that's okay because, you know, I like to be supportive. Not everything has to be about me. So I was just really, really, really spreading myself way too thin. So yeah, I just decided no. Like, enough is enough enough is enough i really had to put myself first especially my mental health like for an update now like i'm good like i'm really good people have been asking me what is my relationship with god like and i'm being quite honest it's a journey because i have felt off i felt off i had fell off and it's not something that i am proud of but you know it's life and it's a journey you're gonna have highs and lows but i've been on top of it now the good thing is my boyfriend's mom she is a christian so you know she sends me scriptures in the morning she uh we have a very good relationship honestly and i've never experienced anything like that really to have like you know we call each other we spend hours on the phone talking so i don't know i just really believe that i manifested this person in my life so yeah i mean i've been starting to get back into my scripture and i feel much better i feel like that's really helping me to be honest when it came to like my anxiety and my depression so i'm not depressed anymore like i'm really really good i'm making my money i am you know minding my business drinking my water and i think you guys can see like i'm legit glowing i'm just living my best life and i'm really really happy like this period in my life I am so happy I don't know what water I drinking I must be drinking the holy water himself with Jesus tears men and one but I'm very very happy right now so yeah the real reason you guys clicked on this video what happened to my joint channel now you're gonna be very disappointed because I'm not gonna go into detail but basically the first period of the year was really really rough for me um, you guys kind of have to understand I lost my best friend like it was obviously a very sad period in my life so again if you're new I started YouTube with my best friend at the time 
and honestly life was great you know I was doing something that I loved I was doing it with my best friend you know we got to see each other more often and you know things were going good they were going good until I developed a passion for it and I started to look at it as I don't want to say my career but something that we could benefit from and when two people aren't on the same page when it comes to business because like it or not YouTube is business and one views it as a hobby and one views it as okay something that can be made out of this not necessarily saying that okay like we'll be doing YouTube for the rest of our lives but you know this is could be a stepping stone for people you know and I honestly saw myself being a youtuber ever since i was little so it was like i was living my teenage dream i fell in love with it you know and that's where it really began to become an issue i was really spreading myself really thin because i loved the channel so much and i loved filming so we we're filming all the time i was editing all the time and i was doing all these collabs like it began to be a lot the reason why we are not friends is not because of me that was not my decision because even though I loved YouTube I actually valued my friendship more so if that meant that I had to give up on my childhood dream of being a youtuber to save my friendship then I would do that because I even said it to the person I said like hey I'm really worried about our friendship like if we continue and you know she had said like that's why you must separate business from friendship but then it began to the point where I couldn't do that because I, I, I just couldn't do it like I'm not the type of person to be fake so we basically lost our relationship we barely spoke and if we spoke it was about YouTube you know and it wasn't really like you know my best friend anymore in terms of we weren't talking about oh my love life or we weren't talking about what we want to do in life and you know she had other passion projects that she was she wanted to pursue so I just basically felt as if YouTube wasn't in her in her path right now I should say so there's two sides to every story you get what I'm saying so take whatever I'm saying with a grain of salt but basically that's what really happened like YouTube came between our friendship and yeah so we're not friends anymore sadly I took it really really hard the first time I I cried for a day I cried for a day like a whole day I was bawling I was really really sad because like bear in mind I said this is my best friend this is somebody I thought was gonna be my maid of honor the godmother to my kids I legit saw this person in my life forever I never saw us stop being friends and even when it ended I'm really proud of myself because I I didn't lash out I haven't spoken about it really at all um, I wish her the best honestly she's a great girl so if you should go and support her support her business support her channel and all of those things when you love somebody you have to love them enough to let them go like if if it's meant to be it'll be so I don't know if we'll ever be friends again but if we're not I really hope that she's happy in her life um, at a point in time when everything was going on I was really deep into my faith so I just believed that everything happens for a reason and you know God had my back that's pretty my life right now oh you know a lot of people were asking me how do I feel about like my degree if I regret my degree no I never ever will ever regret my degree because it's a skill it's something that I can always use forever especially like on my platform I do want to do more cooking videos for you guys because you guys love my cooking videos we can be creative in the kitchen because honestly like let's get real we do get tired of the Jamaica meals all the time so I want to do more cooking videos for my channel I want to do more hauls I want to do more lifestyle videos because I really 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 like vlogging and I don't know if you guys like vlogs or you prefer sit down videos I just want to have a channel that I enjoy making every single content so you know my chit chat get ready with me is you know I love my hauls I like to vlog now um, what else do I like to add my life is very interesting so I like to give story times you know and yeah 
honestly that's pretty much it <laughs> that's pretty much it I'm on the last piece of my hair Okay guys, so I finished my hair off camera. I just put some concealer on the part right here and I didn't do any baby hairs just because I'm not a professional and I'm a beginner and I don't think I did that bad. I love the curls. I trimmed the ends a bit and yeah, so it can like, you know, the curls can look a bit better. Guys, tell me what you think. Do you like this hair on me? I, for one, love this hair so much. All the information to the hair will be in the description box below, so don't forget to check it out, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!